quick disconnects, QDs, quick couplers, hydraulic couplers. These are all the same thing, but what are they? Put simply, they are the very best and easiest way to put together a line or to break it. Let's spend a moment looking at how they work. There is a male side and there is a female side. When they're apart, they're sealed and will hold in hydraulic fluid, even when it's under pressure. Once they are mated, the valves open and the hydraulic circuit is completed. That's fairly straightforward, right? But what I want to talk to you about is the why of QDs. Imagine a skid steer with a bucket attachment. You finished using the bucket and now you need to do some work with the backhoe. Do you want to turn the equipment off, let it cool down to relieve the pressure in the system, then get out your tools and maybe a penetrant to take apart the hydraulic line that leads to the backhoe? Once the line's broken, can you catch all that hydraulic oil that spills out? The EPA will be on you if any gets on the ground, and then you'll have to spend potentially thousands of dollars on bioremediation. So, once everything is apart, are you ready to do it all over again in reverse to connect the backhoe? If you had quick disconnects installed on the line, with a simple pull, the line is disconnected, and a quick push connects it back together, all with very little leakage. So, that's the why of hydraulic disconnects. You can separate and connect lines fast without tools and without leakage. Now QDs may seem intimidating because there are so many styles available, but the main thing you need to be sure of is that the male side, or the nipple, and the female side, the coupler, are the same style and mate with each other. Sure, the opposite or threaded side of the coupler needs to mate with the hose ends, but you can always use an adapter if necessary. TIFCO stocks several styles of QDs, but I want to broadly cover the two main styles you need to be aware of. First, these are poppet style QDs, and they get their name because of this poppet. When it's engaged to the coupler, it gets depressed, and that opens the valve to allow the flow of hydraulic fluid. Within this style, there are several series, including ISOA and ISOB. Both are very popular, especially in the ag industry. And a key thing to remember is that any manufacturer's ISOA coupler will mate with a nipple from another manufacturer. This means you don't have to worry about matching brands. The second most popular style is flat face, or the 16028 series. These are easy to identify because both sides have a flat face. What makes these great is they're easy to wipe off before use to prevent contamination from getting into the system. The back end of the flat face couplers can come with NPT, JIC, ORFS, or straight thread O-ring threads, and can even come in connect under pressure versions. But remember, regardless of the thread on the back end, a flat face male nipple will mate with a female flat face coupler regardless of the manufacturer. There are a few other QD styles available, but just remember, make sure the coupler mates with the nipple. Most styles you'll come across meet an industry standard, like that 16028 or ISOA, and can be mated without regard to who manufactures it. Now to help with determining what mates with what, every manufacturer etches their part number into the QD to help with identification. Additionally, TIFCO has a QD cross-reference guide available to help ensure that you match up your QDs correctly. TIFCO has many styles and sizes of quick disconnects available, but I want to point out a particular package. Part number 87186 is a planned hydraulic QD master assortment that comes with over 50 QDs in four trays and also includes a heavy-duty tray rack. 